thanks for joining us. Um, I wonder if you'd like to explain a little bit about what you've been doing recently. Yep, um, basically we've been setting up counter protests against 40 Days of Life on Sunday afternoons. Um, we're very non-confrontational, we're at the opposite corner, just with our own little banner, um, biscuits, things like that. Um, just to show that there is you know, opposition here in Bloomsbury and they're not the, they're not the only voice around here. So what drove you to, to start organising the, the protest? Um, we just, a few of us walked past them every day on the way to work and on the way to college and we just got a bit fed up with seeing them and not doing anything about it. So what were they doing? Just standing there praying, handing out leaflets to people. This is outside um, the... Outside of the clinic on Bedford Square, yes. Mm -hmm. um, they're quite an intimidating presence, mm -hmm. we think. They would disagree, but that's what we say. To women going in and out of the clinic, and they are, they've got little models of fetuses, which I think have been proven to be quite not necessarily to scale, shall we say. Okay. And some of the literature they're handing out isn't very nice either, so... So they're part of this 40 Days for Life movement that's yeah. originated in the US. Yes. Um, and they're, they're saying that they've turned two people away, or two people have changed their minds? Apparently, yes. Yes, they've been putting it about on their Twitter that that's been happening. So if you're going in there and you're, in, you know, if you're in the middle of trying to make a decision about what you want to do, if you're pregnant and you're not entirely sure, the last thing you want, even if you are completely sure that you're doing the right thing, the last thing you want is for a bunch of people stood there, you know, openly judging you and handing you literature and saying, you know, giving you inaccurate facts. So one of the things um, that's been discussed is about the right of people to protest. Mm -hmm. But what I was quite taken with what you're, you were doing is you were actually just focusing on the fact that uh, is it right to be intimidating these women, whatever, mm -hmm. you, whatever your view of abortion is? Yeah, I mean, they've got every right to be there. They've got every right to their opinions. It's just not really very nice. Mm -hmm. And I would say possibly not very Christian to stand there and force them on other people who are just trying to go about their day. You know, they're not asking for your opinion. So. So this is the first time you've organised anything like yes. this. Uh, how have you found the experience? Hard work. Mm -hmm. um, hard work but rewarding because we're getting a lot of support. Um, so it, it's going quite well actually. We're, as a group we're pleased. <laughs> um, so you're, you're keeping these Sunday uh, vigils up yes. um, until uh, the 40 days for life is over. Yes. So that means there's three more Sundays? Three more Sundays, yeah, finishing on the 1st of April. And so where are they and what time? They are on Bedford Square, on, we're on the northeast corner and we're across the Gower Street, 12 till 4. We've got a little stand and a banner and biscuits and balloons. We're going to have face paints this week, assuming it doesn't rain. Mm -hmm. So it's just meant to be a nice atmosphere, just come along and join us, just take some leaflets. To show your support. And why would you say it's important for people to show their support for this? I think it's important just to let the 40 Days for Life group and people like them to know that they, they're not a majority voice in this country. We don't want it to get like it is in the States and we're just we're not going to stand for it. Thanks very much. Thank you.